Hello everyone, it's Nadine. and welcome to Project Object, the series where I put on my face with the object that you say, and today I'll be doing my whole face of makeup with a hard-boiled egg. That's right, you tell me the most random-ass objects to put on my makeup with, and maybe I'll do it. But I thought we should kick this series off with something pretty basic, so here we go. I am a little bit more tan than usual, and the only foundation that I currently have that even remotely matches me, but still doesn't even match me, is my L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow. This is in the shade 208, and I'm not really sure how I'm going to apply this. I should probably get a mirror first. That would help. All right, we'll just apply this to our face like this, and here it goes. Ready, you guys? <gasps> oh my gosh. This is actually working really, really well. This kind of feels like a really cold, silly sponge, but it smells like sewage, like eggs, so that's a turnoff, but it's actually doing a pretty good job. Hmm. I really like how cold this is. It's like super refreshing too. Oh my God, that sound though, listen. Oh, my egg is starting to like crumble and fall apart in pieces on my face. Ew, ew. Other than these little egg crumbles, this blended out just as good as my normal beauty blender would have. So I am very impressed already, you guys. Yay, egg. And it forms into whatever fucking shape you need so easily. Like I am all up in my eye crevice with a no issue. Now for highlighter, I'm going to go in with my Yves Saint Laurent Touche Clat. And this is in the shade, I think number two. Just gonna put this on here and we'll blend it out once again with the Ego. Oh, great. My $50 highlighter pen now smells like ass. Wonderful. And blendy blendy. Hopefully this blends out just as good as the foundation did, but you never know. Oh, and it is blending quite perfectly. Uh, oh, oh, my egg cracked. Mm, that's okay. I'll still use this. I want to suck as much life out of this egg as I possibly can. Oh, shit. It's crumbling all over me. Mmm. <laughs> Mm, num. New egg time. Ooh, it's really wet. Okay, I'll pat more gentlier so that this doesn't crumble the fuck all over me. Oh, this feels so sticky and like gross from the moisture of the egg. I am getting used to the smell though, so it's not as bad as it was. Next, I'm going to set under my eye with some Cody's Airspun Translucent Powder. I feel like this part's gonna be really easy. It'll just stick to my little thing right here. Oh yeah, very nicely. Ah, all right. Did it stick? Damn, it's sticking on and pressing in perfectly. Shit, yes. Oh, still gets all over though. Ugh. Now for the scary part, I'm going in with eyes and I'm gonna use this little Tartlet palette and I'm starting with Whisper and I'm just gonna take it on the end of this and go all over my eye just as a base. Uh, is it even going on? Yeah, it seems to be. Oh, it's really like creasy and wet though. Not bad, I guess. I'm gonna try to put a little bit of Heartbreaker on the crease We'll see if that even works. Uh. Oh, shit, it is working. Damn, I might just start applying my eye makeup like this more regularly. Ah, oh. whoop, went a little wild on that side. Now I'm taking Paradox by ColourPop and I'm just gonna put this right in the crease. I'm gonna try to deepen it even more because I'm not completely satisfied with how it looks yet, obviously. Oh my God, it is so hard to get just in the crease. Shit. What the fuck? Damn it. Oh, that was a stupid decision. Oh, maybe not. Okay, that's not as terrible as I thought it was. Oh, <laughs> I actually kind of like that. All right, one point for an 80. And now to somehow magically duplicate that side. Mm. It could be much worse. I'm actually still pretty okay with how this is looking so far. Oh, but my egg cracked in half. Uh. With a new egg and some of Pierre's eye polish in the shade Satin, I'm just gonna try to put this only on the eyelid. Oh my God, I can't even get any. Whoop, if I dip it on the lid, I get some, ha ha. Oh God, oh God. Oh, there's so much on here and so little eyelid. Uh. Oh, oh. Okay, okay. <laughs> Yay. I'm gonna try to get in the crease with this little tiny broken piece. Oh, yes, Nady, yes. Sometimes you gotta just impress yourself. Keeps things happy in life. Oh, get way down in that corner, just right there. Did I get it? Oh, I got it. Oh, fuck, now I have to do the other side, though. Oh, this side is so much easier for some reason. Yes, baby, yes. Eh. Oh, shit, I fucked it up. God damn it. Oh. 
Cool, okay, I am gonna use my hands just to wipe away the powder because I think an egg would make it really gloopy and disgusting and ruin the entire thing. For my under eye, I need this other half, so I'm just gonna eat the yolk. I know that's gross, but oh, mmm. For the eye, I'm just gonna take more of Tarte's Heartbreaker. I'm just gonna use this little corner piece. Ooh, I don't know if that's gonna work or not. Um. Uh. Okay. And I guess I might just use this as a liner, so I'm gonna go along my top little lash too and try to smudge some of this out. Uh, did that do anything? Oh, ew. Uh, uh piece of egg in my palette. Ugh. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Uh, I guess I am gonna cheat a little and go in with mascara. I mean, you can't really apply this with an egg any way you look at it, so it's kind of hard to avoid this. And we mustn't forget our wispy little falsies. Now for a bit of highlight and contour, I'm going in with NYX's Pro Contour Palette, and for the highlight, I'm gonna mix Soft Light and Cream. Is it doing anything? Down the nose, and on the lip, and on the chin. Oh, but now I have to contour, so I'm going in with NYX's Toffee, and I'm just gonna go down the cheekbones on all the usual places on my face. Ew, this isn't picking up, it's just making my pan wet. Please don't ruin my pan, Egg. Okay, new idea, I'm going in with Tarte's Heartbreaker, which is very dark for a contour, but hopefully it'll work a bit. I don't know, we'll try. Whoa, that's dark. Shit. Eh, it's blended out with the other side of the egg. Oh, that's like super cheekbone. I look like Maleficent. And unfortunately, I think that's about as blended out as I can get it. Okay, well, I guess I just have super cheekbones today. That's all right, because I'm also going to have a super forehead. Oh, no. Uh, that's not too terrible, is it? I mean, it's a little bit off in color, but it's still not bad. Oh, time to do the nose. Oh, shit. Fuck me. Not a good idea. Oh. My. It looks like I have a very contoured, broken nose. I think my nose may have looked better before I tried contouring it, but A for effort, right? No. F for failure. For highlighter, I'm using Jeffree Star's Peach Goddess, and oh, shit, that's pretty looking. Hopefully this will work. I don't know how this part could go wrong. Oh. Yas, baby, glow. And a little boopy on the nose right there. I'm gonna try with this little baby egg piece to put it in the inner corner of my eye because I feel like it's missing a little pop right there. Oh, shit, shit, shit. Okay, that helped a little bit. Not much, but a little. Oh, there's egg in my eye. Oh. Ah. Uh, oh, do you see it? Get out of there. We got it. Shit, that was scary. Now for blush, I'm taking this Coastal Scents blush palette and I'm using this shade right there and... Ugh, I'm running out of eggs. Oh dear, this picked up a lot, but hopefully it'll look okay. Oh my gosh, that's really pink. And finally, for lipstick, I'm using this one that I just got in my BoxyCharm box. It is Real Her in Deep Nude. I have no idea how we're going to accomplish this. I guess I'll just put some on there and transfer it to my lips. Oh, it does seem to be going on there quite nicely. I covered like half this eggs and I'm just gonna dip my lips into it. Mm. Uh. And then I'm just putting some of that pure shadow we used earlier over that to give it a nice little glossy sheen. Okay, and there you go. Damn, that blush is really fucking pink. It looks like I got beat up. But other than that, I am okay with this look. I mean, the lips could have been more pow. I was kind of planning on doing really popping eyes, so I only took out a nude, but we get what we get. I'm still cool with it. I think the easiest part of this look was doing the foundation and the concealer. That was just a breeze. The hardest part was definitely the contour. I totally fucked up my cheek and seriously ruined my nose, but what really surprised me was the eyes. I thought that would be the hardest part to do, but it actually turned out to be really fun. But there you go. Don't forget my newest single, Underwater, is available everywhere online that music is sold. Thank you so much to everyone who's supporting it. Comment down below. Let me know what you thought of this video and what you'd like to see on future Project Object episodes. Don't forget to like and subscribe. You can follow me on Snapchat, Instagram, and Twitter at OfficialNady, and you can follow me online at ThePoplix.com. Thank you so much for watching. I love you all, and I will see you again soon. Bye!